CustomTacticals.com here. Uh, the knife I'm reviewing today is the Howard VLA uh, Spyderco Phoenix. Um, the Spyderco Phoenix is, uh, I think, the third knife that, I guess, second knife that Howard's designed with, with, uh, with Spyderco. The first one is uh, has been re remade a few times, so. This is the actual second real design, I believe, from Spyderco. Um, a very cool looking knife. And it reminds me of those old uh, old revolvers with with the with the pearl handles on it. It just has that sort of old school look to it. I was noticing. Um, this is uh, this this knife has been discontinued now. Uh, retailed for uh, three hundred and ten dollars at the time. I purchased it locally from from uh, Warriors and Wonders, which a lot of people here are familiar with, uh, and, and a two-pack deal with the Spyderco Polywog, which will be in another review. And uh, it was a very good very good bargain, so I, I grabbed both of them. I've always wanted a Phoenix, and this was a good opportunity to get one. And uh, I, I really I really liked it after actually after after you know examining it and at the store and decided that I would get one. Quality is is the 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 fit is is extremely good. There's like zero blade play whatsoever, and it's and it's so smooth. Like this, the the ball bearing lock at least on this model is uh, a lot smoother and and tighter fitting than than, than the Benchmade Axis locks, which use a similar mechanism, right? Um, Nylatron washers on it with uh, the large all steel ball bearing mechanism on this one so no plastic cover for it um, you might notice that I still have the plastic protecting this this area of the knife I just haven't taken it off yet I know the stainless steel stuff on Spyderco scratches quite easily so I didn't want to remove it yet I'll probably leave it on there when I put it in my display case um, one small complaint I had with the with the finish was was the edge of the micarta is a little bit blackened in where it, where it touches the steel, um, I understand it is it is white micarta, so that uh, that can happen. But uh, otherwise, is it's it's actually very very well finished. I did lift up the plastic to see what it looks like underneath, so it's 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 quite well done. Um, nice smooth seamless uh, backspacer and liner touch, uh, interfacing here, which is great. Um, just the uh, tip up right hand uh, uh, pocket clip carry here nothing else VG10 steel blade made in Seiki City Japan let me zoom out here um, hollow grind with the uh, Howard VLA 3 hole drilled through here um, it's a little bit larger than the previous model and you can see Howard's uh, stamping there um, Seiki City Japan marking there A little bit of uh, minor chipping around some of the holes here with the micarta. I, I wouldn't call it chipping, actually. It's just more like uh, uh, fuzzies and stuff like that. But um, you know, just all, all things that contribute to to, to you know uh, a little bit less fit and finish that I would have hoped for a knife that retails at three hundred and ten dollars. But as all Spydercos, it does uh, sell for significantly less than that when you get when you see it in the stores. So, um, really great, uh, great knife. I wouldn't. It's not something I carry. The blade is 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 pretty small because because it, you can choke up and has a big choil up here in the front, which actually makes it really nice to carry. Like if you're holding it, it uh, you can really control the blade and grab it up close, which is something that like reminds me of of knives like the SNG and the Spyderco Native. Um, great using knives, but this is a little little fancier than I'd like to. Used for carry, this this uh, white micarta will get dirty in no time, so not not a daily carrier for me. Um, the blade is uh, according to Spyderco three inches, and um, VG10 steel of course. Uh, weight is pretty heavy because of the uh, stainless steel frame, so it weighs in at about 4.1 ounces, which is uh, on the on the heftier side for for what appears to be like a gents knife here. Um, One eighth inch thickness on the blade, and uh, Closed length of four and nine sixteenths. has a has a nice uh, nice closed look to it. It uh, always has a little bit of a hump that Spyderco's have here. So, but uh, nice profile.
fits really well in the jeans. Stainless steel clip here. Looks really good. Overall, a really nice piece that uh, I don't think a lot of people are going to be carrying, but uh, a, a great spiderco piece for collectors, especially. Um, and if you, if you like to carry the fancier looking stuff, this is good for you too. Have a good one.